Hi, Bob from Super 25 Sports Cards. Uh, coming to you with my first PSA return. I uh, just got back into collecting and started. I joined PSA in January. I've got about four orders out. Uh, my intentions were to open them on camera and not know the grades, but as I was uh, checking <coughs> on the status uh, of my first order or my free order, whatever it is, I uh, saw the green check mark. I clicked on it, saw the first card. And then honestly, after I saw the first card, I, I just, I couldn't stop. So I just continued to read down, scroll down, and saw all the grades. I'm still going to share them with you. My intentions with the other ones are to hopefully be able to not look at the grades and share them online. We'll see how I do. But I've got a 15 card order uh, that came back, and I'm going to share them with you. Uh, first one I got back was uh, 1955 Topps Harmon Killebrew. It was a VG3. Uh, when I first uh, sent this order, my intention was to do a bulk order, and it had to be cards from 56 and later to fit the, the group. So I, I ended up sending a couple in this, and then ended up doing one for that one anyway. But this is a 1949 Bowman Robin Roberts. This is the Robin Roberts from my set. It's one of the worst cards in this set, so I'm very happy with the VG3. Uh, I think it bodes well for the set. I think I'll do pretty well with the set. Uh, so this is the first card that I've gotten back. Like I said, they're sprinkled in all different kinds of stuff. Um, but you know they'll come back eventually here. Some of them are like 50 days. But this is uh, 1957 Frank Robinson, uh, rookie. Got a uh, VG Excellent 4. Uh, Frank Robinson's one of my favorite players. And I just was anxious, so I said it in this first one. I knew it wouldn't do great. It's about what I was expecting, actually. Uh, the next one I have is a 1957 Sandy Koufax, VG 4.5, VGX 4.5. Again, pretty much what I was expecting. Uh, this is one of my favorite sets, and a set that I will be trying to do on the PSA. So, you know, see a lot of these coming in and out in the next couple months. But, uh, you know, I'm happy with that. Uh, then I have a 1956 Sandy Koufax Grayback, got an X-Mint 6, and I actually was surprised how well this did. I mean, it's a pretty nice card. I, you know, I knew it was in good condition, fairly, you know, centered decent, but, uh, you know, it just looked faded to me, so I, I was expecting like a 4 and I ended up with a 6, so I'm very happy with that. Uh, a little surprised, but, uh, I'll take it for sure. Uh, only one card that I sent came back lower than I thought it would. A couple came back higher, one came back lower, and I'll share with you when I get that when I get there. Uh, There's another set that I have uh, that I've started to grade. 1954 Bowman. Uh, love this set. This is the number one card to Phil Rizzuto. Uh, I have a couple copies of this. Uh, this came back X Mint six, and this is probably what I thought was the best copy I had of it. Uh, it was off centered. Some of them are centered better. But uh, this is, was real sharp, except for the centering. So uh, I, I think about what I expected, and uh, you know I'm pretty happy with it. I'm a big fan of that card. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I sent a couple of these. Uh, I have a little bit of more expensive order that's, that's due back here shortly. But this is one I put in here. Uh, this is a set that I'm actually working on selling, and because uh, I'm no longer into hockey, but. A 1979 Topps Wayne Gretzky. This is a five. Uh, I thought the set was like five six, so you know this will this will work for that set. Uh, hopefully, I have one that comes back a little bit better. We'll see. Uh, but uh, then I've got 1975 Topps George Brett. Uh, 75 was my birth year, so I'm a big 1975 Topps guy, and Brett's one of my favorite players. This is an X Mint 6. I probably have about five or six of these out right now in different orders. So hopefully, I have one that I'm expecting to come back uh, pretty good. So hopefully, hopefully I'm right about this. Uh, this one's about what I expected. Uh, pretty nice. You know, it's a tough set, so they, they get chipped quick. Um, another one I graded for a set is a 1976 Walter Payton X Mint 6. Uh, and again, that's about what the set is. So you know, I'm, I, I was happy that it that it scored the six. Uh, can't complain. It's about what I thought it was. But again, 
with not much experience, just never really know. This is the card I was most disappointed in, or the only one I was disappointed in. Uh, I actually sent two in this order. I have a few of these. Nolan Ryan is is my favorite pitcher of all time. I'm a big Nolan Ryan guy. I have a lot of Nolan Ryan stuff uh, from when I was little. And, uh, you know, this one came back VG3, which I was shocked. Although the back is just, uh, it's just extremely off-centered. I was guessing it was going to come back like a 5 or a 6 with some kind of qualifier for that. I don't know if it was miscut or... or uh, or uh, off center. I really didn't know how that worked, but that's what I was expecting. Came back VG3, but you know, after all the horror stories I hear, and I bought those so young, I guess I'm just happy they came back real because you hear so many people got ripped off, and I, of all people, I, mean, I was 12 probably when I bought those. So this is a 1962 Topps Lou Brock rookie, uh, near mint seven, uh, which I was happy with. Uh, I thought it would be a six or a seven, so. Came back right about where I thought it was. Uh, Lou Brock's one of my favorite players again. And uh, this is a card I really like. And I uh, really enjoy that set. Uh, here's the other Ryan I had in this order. Uh, this one came back 7.5. So this one came back a little better than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I do have a copy of this that I think is, is very nice. That, uh, again, is in a different order. But uh, this one, I, th I thought the two of them were similar. This one was centered better in the back. Uh, but I thought the you know the corners and edges were, were similar and the surface were both pretty good but obviously I was wrong they were not even close so uh, this one I'm very happy with the 7.5 and uh, you know definitely gonna add that keep that one around uh, this is the 1982 tops traded Cal Ripken uh, this is a card that I worked really hard to get when I was little it was really hard for me to get this it was expensive right from the start and you know, you had to break it out of a set, so it just was difficult. But I got a mint nine on this, um, so I'm happy. I'm happy with the mint nine for sure. And uh, you know, I knew it was nice. Didn't really know what to expect, so I kind of made it one of those nice. I didn't really grade them. I just said these are nice. Same with this one. Uh, this is a 1969 Raleigh Fingers rookie. Uh, real sharp. This is a mint nine. Uh, this entire set that I have is 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 all in very good condition, so I'm I'm interested to see how this will this will grade out as I grade it. Uh, I have some more pieces of this out right now, but uh, it's going to take a long time for me to grade some of the sets that I have, just because you know it's so expensive the grading and and it's uh, difficult to to be able to lay too much out. I think I have a hundred cards out right now with 25 to go out this week, so we'll have 125 out. Uh, you know, just go through them as fast as we can. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, comment down below. Uh, please subscribe. And, uh, you know, good luck. And see, talk to you soon.